What's up guys, I'm Nathan and in this video as suggested by one of you guys, I am going to be showing you guys all of the support units ranked in Roblox All-Star Tower Defense. There are 11 of them but a couple of them are tied so we have 10 positions guys. Uh, so if you have any suggestions just let me know in the comments section and I'll probably post it in a poll for what you guys want to see for tomorrow's video. But this is just my opinion. Let me know what your your guys' opinion is, and also let me know if I missed any one of the support units because, yeah, sometimes I can make mistakes. I swear, I recorded this video like three times because I kept forgetting some character or the other. But in tenth place is going to be Wees because they just did him really dirty. I mean, guys, he's so much more OP than SSJ God and even Ultra Instinct Goku. So why is he so weak? <laughs> Um, but basically he's meta for pvp but pvp is the most useless mode in the game and basically pvp even uh, at least when i did it it might have been a glitch but the damage did not stack for me like it did not increase in my damage task i don't know why uh, and the <laughs> rewards you get from pvp is like 12 gems so like bruh <laughs> in ninth place it is going to be rukia because rukia freezes and well yeah <laughs> She's definitely worse than time stoppers, but if you are going for like a lazy grind, I guess you could use her, but definitely not the best support unit that you can get. Uh, then in 8th place is going to be Jotaro 5 star. That is because of course he is a time stopper, but he is going to be worse than our 7th place, which is Dio 5 star. And Dio 5 star is higher because in order to get his time stop ability, Dio is a bit cheaper and if you will max him out they are about the same cost and Dio's time stop will also do some damage which is why overall Dio is just a lot better he's even he's the cheapest time stop in the game if you won't max him out and just go for the time stop ability uh, then in sixth place it is going to be Merlin and Merlin is in uh, sixth only some people might want him to be higher maybe I don't know <laughs> But the thing is, he is not exactly meta for any mode. He is good for grinding damage, I suppose, because he will increase the total damage output. That is always a good thing. But he's definitely not meta. Like, you won't see anyone going for leaderboards using Merlin in their roster. And even for story mode, you definitely don't need Merlin. In fifth place, it is going to be Gojo, uh, because he's basically the meta time stopper for infinite mode. Uh, you cannot really get there without uh, Gojo, but the reason why I'm putting Jotaro higher now someone actually in my top 10 units argued with me on this uh, He's actually a pro but this time I have a better explanation for him Okay, guys and for other people like him that are wondering why Jotaro is higher than Gojo overall Well, here's the thing Gojo is really bad for story mode because his range is less and of course He's really, really expensive, which means, yeah, he's basically there's no point in using him. You're better off using Dio or Jotaro 5 star than you are using Gojo. But Jotaro, however, uh, like, he's basically meta. Like, he's overkill as well. <laughs> because some people use Gilgamesh to kill those uh, little extra dudes that get out and for the extra DPS. But Jotaro is way better than Gilgamesh, plus you're going to get the time stop ability plus he costs half of Gilgamesh's cost and here's the thing for infinite mode of course Gojo is meta but think about it guys not everyone is going to go for leaderboards on infinite mode and most of the time you're just going to be trying to grind for gems or just trying to grind and when you grind you don't want, really want to get yourself stressed out it's more likely that you just want to do like a chill grind and for that Jotaro is just so much better he has more range and he's just a, a little cheaper and he has fewer clicks to max him out so like Gojo is going to be a lot harder to use he has more potential but still when you're going for a chill grind you really do not want that whole stress of using Gojo but if you're going for leaderboard of course Gojo is higher but like I said this is an overall tier list in third place it is going to be Blackbeard because he's going to do I think a 25 to 50 percent slowness effect which is absolutely essential uh, in second place it is going to be Irwin that basically with the four cycle buff he's going to give you like a 200 percent buff which is basically he will triple your units damage and in first place it is going to be Bulma tied with Eskinor 
because well they are just a lot more useful than everything else because well you can't really use these characters if you don't have Bulma and Eskinor especially with our new meta which is absolutely insane but that is pretty much it for this video so thank you guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe if you are new to the channel and i'll catch you guys in the next video see ya